So first, let's talk about the aspect of the setup that stands out the most, and that is the monitor. The monitor that we have here is the Dell P2419HC. This is probably the cheapest USB-C monitor out there, retailing under $200. It has a resolution of 1920 by 1080 with a refresh rate of 60Hz. This is more than enough for most use cases and the color reproduction on this monitor is also really good. Overall, I highly recommend this monitor especially as it's under $200 and I will leave a link down below so you can purchase it at a discount. Next, let's take a look at the keyboard. The keyboard we have here is just one of those cheap gaming keyboards that you can buy online and usually retail for less than $40. The one we have here has mechanical switches and also RGB. One thing to note is that it has Windows keycaps so you need to map it to macOS which is not that convenient. However, it's a really good keyboard for its price especially considering it's a mechanical keyboard. I would be leaving links to a similar one down below. So next, let's look at the mouse. The mouse we have here is the Razer A3s and it works really well. I got it for about $20 on sale and it's still currently on sale. So it's a really good deal if you're looking for a new mouse and I would recommend it. But one thing to note is that it's a pretty small mouse and if you have big hands, you're going to have difficulty using it. Even though I have pretty big hands, I don't really mind having a small mouse since it doesn't really affect my workflow that much. So yeah, it's a pretty good mouse, works from one AA battery and it's also great value for its price and I will link it down below as it is currently on sale. So next, let's take a look at the speakers. When choosing a speaker to use for my setup, I didn't want normal PC speakers as they are not that compatible with other devices that are not computers. I wanted a speaker that would also work with my phone and also work via Bluetooth. With all these functionalities, I also wanted an affordable speaker and that's exactly what this speaker is. The anchor speaker that I bought off Amazon for about $40 fits all these descriptions and sounds really good too. I connect it to my MacBook via Bluetooth or by headphone jack and it works like a charm. The sound quality is really good and I really recommend it for its price. I will leave a link down below for the speaker and by the way, I'm not sponsored by the brand. I just really think that it's a really really good deal for the speaker that they are offering and for its price. So next, let's take a look at the USB-C dock that I use. I'm currently not using it as my Mac is plugged into a monitor and for some reason, when I plug in my monitor via this USB-C hub, it, my Mac doesn't detect the monitor. So I don't use it when it's connected to the monitor, but when it's not, I use it. So the USB-C adapter that I use gives me two extra USB-C ports, one Thunderbolt 3 and the other USB 3.1, two USB 3.0 ports, one HDMI port, two SD card readers. So there's a lot of ports that you can get from this little adapter. I recommend it as long as you're not going to use it with external monitors since I'm facing a few problems doing that. But other than that, it's a really great adapter for its price. It's really good unless you're going to be using it with an external monitor. So finally, let's take a look at what my MacBook is standing on and that's the 12 South Cross stand. The stand retails for about $50 and it's really good. Apple sells it on their own website so that's one way to know that it's a really good product. The stand is really sturdy and does not wobble when you're typing on your MacBook while it's on the stand. So if you want to have a dual monitor set up with your MacBook screen, I would recommend buying this stand as it's really sturdy and does not wobble and also comes at a pretty decent price. You could get cheaper variations on Amazon but I don't really recommend them as a lot of them are not that sturdy and would wobble you type on the MacBook while it's on the stand. Last but not the least, let's talk about the external SSD that I use with my MacBook. 
The external SSD that I use is the SanDisk Extreme Portable and it's really good. I have the 500 GB variant and it's pretty fast. It's way faster than my HDDs and it costs about $80. I talked about this more in my other video about whether you should buy the MacBook Pro or not. It's a really good external solid state drive and I recommend buying it especially if you got the base model MacBook like Pro with only 256 gigs of storage. So that's it for the video. I hope it helped you out and if it did, like the video and if you want more videos on the new MacBook Pro, make sure to subscribe. That's it for this video and I'll see you in another one.